Africa is an emerging market and offers China a chance to achieve growth and high returns from its investment. The key factors uh, that determine Chinese interaction or engagement with Africa is geopolitics and trade. Chinese investment is projected to, to double in the next 10 years. Rarely do we rarely do we hear of the role played by the Ministry of Trade Security, MSS, the Chinese Intelligence Agency. in the success of Chinese investment in Africa. MSS has played a huge role in planting the goodwill that China has and enjoys in Africa. Chinese intelligence in Africa is well funded it aggressively targets africa for investment opportunities its focus is non military area so the Chinese in Africa are not a threat. They are not obsessed with local politics. The Chinese obsession in Africa is investment and opportunities for Chinese companies. But what many often think that China, the Chinese projects are flooded with Chinese laborers They miss the point. China is, China is mapping Africa. And that is a task of the research unit of MSS. To understand business risks in Africa, you must understand the African's work ethic. So what has... China done. China, in each project China engages in, in Africa, it brings in laborers, all cadre of workers, to understand how African, how Africans operate. Now they understand, and, and, and all this is a research task given to MSS. So when the Chinese companies get into Africa, they structure their business strategy within that African culture. And the Chinese projects are always always a success if you compare the success rate between projects world bank projects and the chinese funded projects chinese projects are always a success and they deliver but world bank rarely 
World Bank projects have always been characterized by either corruption, delays, sabotage, etc. etc. So there's very little to there's very little to see and point and say that World Bank projects have changed have changed any lives in Africa. In the last 10 years, when Chinese aggressively moved into Africa, Africa, we've started seeing countries that Chinese footprint is established, their GDP doubling. You can see Ethiopia, Kenya, etc. etc. They're all doing very well because of the Chinese engagement. Chinese are, are clear-eyed about uh, the threat facing its investment in Africa. This would be Western propaganda and anti-China rhetoric that is coming out of the United States. Also, NGO, NGO communities that are financed by Western interests. To compete with China in Africa, Western media needs to tone down. They don't tone down their negativity towards Africa. Uh, Western media outlets for years have, a, have exaggerated the problems that Africa is facing. In so doing, discouraged its own investors from taking up opportunities in Africa. Creating a gap that Chinese have exploited to insert and expand themselves in Africa. So what do you think is China engagement positive? Leave your answer below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do hit the like button. Hope to see you in the next video.